Did I ever tell you about hurricane number three? Well, we were living in Miami at the time. And well, my parents lived in northern Florida, so we figured, well, we'll just go ahead and we'll leave Miami, go up to northern Florida, and we'll be okay. Well, everybody was trying to evacuate south Florida. So you could, I mean, the traffic was horrible because they've only got four, two lanes going up north and two lanes going south, which is ridiculous, right? Especially if you have to evacuate for a hurricane engineers I mean I guess they don't understand so it took us what normally will take you about eight to ten hours to go from Miami to northern Florida in the panhandle took us 26 hours which gave the hurricane plenty of time to go from Miami to northern Florida now mind you there were no hotels available the gas stations were packed, and if you wanted to go to sleep, you had to sleep in a parking lot full of other vehicles. That's how people were sleeping, in parking lots. And the traffic was just barely moving along. 26 hours, 24, 26 hours, something like that. I got to northern Florida, got a hotel down the street from my parents, and the hurricane followed us all the way there. It hit that location and we went walking around before it got there and the wind started and the rain started picking up really bad see some people think they live in a horrible life you think you're a badass you think you're managing life you think it must be difficult breakfast people breakfast Best. Anyways, so we stuck around and then we, you know, <laughs> went and visited my parents. And then I can't remember where we went after that. But escaping one tornado to, I mean, one hurricane. And it just followed us all the way up the coast and hit us anyway. Who knew? Right? But that was an arduous task, man. Can you believe, you know... My son was so good about it. He didn't complain. He didn't do nothing, you know. Good times. 